So over here, you can see that I have two frames. And if I were to go around and then copy out these rectangles right here and keep it right here, move it apart, then what I can do is I can use Smart Animate to actually go around and then animate this out right here. So if I were to go around right here onto this frame and then link this frame out with this frame using the prototype, prototype let me just link it out into this frame. You can see that right now it says Navigate uh, right here. So if I were to go around into the animation and choose Smart Animate, then what happens is that if I were to press out the play button right here, you can see that this is what happens right here. So it's loading out the um, a prototype area right here. So it's just loading that out. And now you can see this. So if I were to go around right here, click, you can see that smart animation uh, takes in source right here. So if I were to go around right here, so you can see that these are the similar objects. So let's say, for example, I want to go around and then uh, let's say, for example, have this object right here and this object uh, just like this. Maybe I want to change the color of this. So let me just go around right here and change out the color of this as well. So over here for this one, I want to go around and then I want to, uh, let's say, for example, uh, change the background color for this one. So I'm going to go around right here on the fill color. Let me just change this around into background color. So let's say what I want here to happen is that I want the frame to swipe, but I want the similar objects to have smart animation. So in order to do that, you can go to prototype and on the link, what you can do is here, it says navigate to. So navigation is as it is. So instead of animation uh, for smart animate, I'm going to type uh, right, uh, select in slide in right here. So it slides into place right here. But what I want is I want the similar objects right here to smart animate. So I got the slide in and the smart animation at the same time. So now if I were to press the play button right here, then what happens is that it opens out um, in a new uh, window right here. So if I were to go around click, you can see that this is what happens right here. You can go right back and you click here, you can see that this is what happens. So you can see that these two objects are alike. And since they are related to one another, they smart animate. But over here, you can see that the other object, this actually slides on to the left and this slides on from the right. So instead of having a direct smart animation, so if I were to go around right here, and instead of slide in, if I were to go around and do smart animate, then what happens is that those things will not slide in, but it will fade in. So let us just see how that works. You can see that it fades in right here, as you can see. But if you were to slide that in, then you can see that smart animation takes in chart. So you can see that if I were to go around right here, let's uh, use push on this one. And over here, uh, I'm going to go around at Smart Animate Matching Layer. So let me just go around and you can see that it pushes that thing right here. Click on it and it pushes the other parts while the uh, re uh, rectangular shapes, which are same from the previous frame, they use Smart Animation. So that is how you can use the Smart Animate uh, for matching layers inside of a Figma design file. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.